Hello and welcome to Rocking Horse Talk with me, David Kiss. Today we've got something a bit special. We have an FH Airs, um, but aside that, it's a movable head version. Airs were a very um, innovative um, company. They were always coming up with new ideas. Obviously, we, we know that they, they weren't just rocking horses that they made. They made sporting goods and they took out many patents on, on their various sporting goods over the years um, and also on rocking horses. So the rocking horse we have today encompasses two, two patents. One was the 1880 patent um, that covered the uh, American hobby horse or the swing stand as we know it. And the second and possibly more important um, patent we're going to talk about today is, uh, was taken out in 1887, which covers the movable head. Ayers' his patent um, for the movable head horse, I feel sure was um, originally uh, came from them, them applying it to a tricycle horse. Um, the notion of sitting on a tricycle horse and turning the handlebars and turning the head possibly seemed like a good idea. You, you can just imagine them sitting around uh, the boardroom and thinking, well, can we make the head turn with, it, with the handlebars? And, and I think that possibly have evolved and went on to become a, a fairly standard extra um, that was applied to not only the, the tricycle horses but also the swing stand horses. Um, it was described as, um, in, in, in 1897, by an ingenious pivot arrangement, the horse's head is made to turn in whichever direction the rider desires to go. Another advance in the imitation of nature. They are manufactured of best quality materials and fitted with skeleton wheels and India rubber tyres and in all respects are a welcome present to a lad. So that, that piece of text obviously refers to the tricycle horse but that's, that's what I feel was the reason behind why they were offered on swing stand horses. And I think they were offered on swing stand horses as, a, as an extra. FHA's patent movable head was, um, was just an extra um, on their range of horses. Um, in, the, in the 1897 catalogue they were either 2 and 6 or 3 and 6 extra, depending on which size horse it was applied to I suppose. Um, swing stand horses at that time were offered in 7 different sizes and the tricycle horse was offered in 4 different sizes. So there was quite a range of um, just between those two of all the options you could have. While I like to um, have horses in original condition, that's not always easy, um, especially in the case of something like a mobile head horse, because they are really quite thin on the ground. Um, I think I've got records of about 15 of them, 15, 16 of them, um, and that's over the past 30 years. So certainly they're not the most common of things. So today's horse, we have actually restored this. Um, it does have some elements of its originality. Um, the, the paintwork um, has been retouched. Um, when we got this horse, it had been previously restored. Not very well, I hasten to add. So we kind of removed that and, and got back to what we could rescue of the original coat of paint and, and have retouched it. So we've got typical airs dappling on, on the horse. Most importantly, this horse, of course, is the, the fact that it's a movable head. So when a child sat on it and it's and it's got hold of the rein, so it can put it from one side to the other. And, and of course, this is what Ayers were referring to um, in their description of, of the movable head horse. Um, they're quite easily noted by the fact that they have this leather, leather band round here, which covers, covers the uh, actual mechanism, which is quite a, quite a, a simple thing. Um, obviously all hidden with inside, inside the horse. Um, there's a large bolt inside there and, and a return spring and a, and a locating tab. Um, that we've got a picture of it here that we can look at as well, so uh, give you an idea of what's going on inside. Um, so if we look underneath the horse, um, on, this, on this horse, um, obviously we've had the, we have the head off this horse, and, and I've taken out this little um, wooden block which covers the head of the, the bolt that runs up into the head. Um, and so you can see that uh, where it used to be. Originally they would have been just gessoed over and totally sealed up so you wouldn't really have had any notion of, of where it was. So the, the horse here we have is um, dated I, I would say to about 1890, somewhere around there. Um, and certain features about 
that um, era of horses are, 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 are relevant with this horse. It has um, cast iron brackets, um, obviously has these um, fluted runners, which are just typically classic airs runners. Another thing about these early horses is that uh, occasionally we find that they've been stenciled underneath on the belly um, and that would just re read FHS. This particular horse has been stenciled twice. Um, you can just imagine a young lad in, in the workshop and not making a very good job of it first time and then having another go, probably getting berated by his foreman. <laughs> Early Ayres horses were, they were just a lovely shape, um, very well carved, um, lots of carving in the legs, also all this nice muscling in the neck. And the heads were also, a, I think, a fantastic shape. So overall, you had a, this wonderful shaped horse. Um, just looks like it's ready to go. Um, and of course, at that time, um, they would have been fitted with, you know, top quality leather um, tack. This is all replacement tack, but fairly close to what it would have been like originally. Um, it has this gold wire fringing um, around the saddle blanket and also the typical Ayres decorative nails feature on these horses. Originally it would have had a lot more of those but over time and various restorations you know they've, they've been lost. This horse has been, um, it's been used as a toy so it's had lots of use. Um, I think it was actually in a, in a school um, in its early life so uh, Obviously, maybe a benefactor gave it to a school for all the children to use, so it's probably had a very busy life. Um, I know it's also been to Australia and back again, so uh, quite a well-travelled horse. Um, also, another thing to note about these horses is the early Ayres horses is they sit very low to the stand, so minimal clearance, but they do have this fantastic rock on them, so um, despite these very close tolerances, you know, it was, a, it was a good thing. Stands were typically made out of pine, um, but the posts would have been beech, as would have been the rails. As with most horses of this, uh, of this period, um, they would have had an option for um, fitting a pommel, or pommel, should I say, so you would have the option of having pommels both sides. Um, and what that does do is, is it, there's, a, there's a hole, obviously, where the pommel goes, and that goes into the, into the actual body of the horse, which is hollow. So, in essence, the horse body is a box. Um, when we were working on this horse, um, we found all sorts of things inside the horse. Um, and we've got them here, so you can see there's um, pencils and nails and little bits of toy soldier and various other bits and pieces, thimbles, marbles. Typically, this is the sort of thing you find. Um, and one thing I did find was um, this little um, triangular label, which has got Empire written on it. I don't often give horses names, but I thought that, that Empire was, was quite an apt name for this horse, especially as it has travelled, really, more or less, all around the world, um, from one side of the Empire that was, and back again. It's a, it's a fantastic horse, um, which, which is for sale in our, in our shop, um, if it's of any interest to anyone out there. Um, if you like the video, obviously um, like or, and subscribe to it. Um, I do have a bit of a request um, in as much as that um, I'm running out of horses that I have here at the workshop to talk about. So if, you're, if you feel that you're not you know, a million miles away from me and you have a horse in original condition, doesn't have to be an Ayres horse obviously, um, any other makes that um, are, are out there, but what I'm really looking for is horses in original condition. So you can always email me at uh, info at rocking horses if you think you have something interesting and uh, perhaps we can feature your horse in, in, a, in a future video. So that's it for now. Um, hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.